This is a book review of X-Men Grand Design Marvel Treasury Edition. A really beautiful and unusual collection. Now it's basically it's slightly smaller than the standard treasury size, only slightly. Issue one, and it's the original X-Men, the story of it's a sort of well, it's a love letter, compression of everything that happened to, as well as a bit more way before the X-Men really started. So this is by Ed Piskell, and when did it come out? 2018. 2018, and I just love this book. It's very odd. The pages smell so. Got a very, the paper quality is very odd. Now the omelet, there's an omnibus edition coming out. I don't know if the paper is apparently slightly thicker. I don't know the case of that. I'm looking forward to that omnibus edition. But anyway, relevance is this. And it's style, the drawing style is very unusual. Now, someone else pointed out that uh, would they have loved this style when they were 10 year old, 12 year old? And I personally, I probably would have struggled with it as well. Though saying that, the we had lots and lots of British comics where the style was like this, similar. It was it was not the slick style that you get got in American comics. But I still probably I must admit I probably would have rejected it when I was younger. But now I can appreciate it a little bit more, and I can I think it's absolutely superb. You got the early years of all. The, the characters, so it's got just how it, the flow between the rest of the Marvel universe. The story you obviously got Magneto here, you've got Storm, you've got numerous other characters here. Going all the way, this is obviously uh, where old Kane Marco finds his uh, goes to the temple of I'm not gonna say Sartorak, like that. and he, and it's great. I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful book. The artwork is brilliant. You've got the way all the characters are drawn. And episode two, you've got obviously got the Magneto, the evil brother of Mastermind, Blob. So you've got, so, and it's, there's really odd bits because you've got like the Blob is enormous. I mean, the Blob is pretty big. He's a big guy. But I remember when reading issue three of the X-Men, the way he portrayed his, like he's holding up, uh, Gene Grey in one hand. Now he's not that big. So there's a lot. You've got a lovely bit with here with the uh, the Vanisher, as he was called. Now he vanished completely from storylines generally. He was never never a contender, but he sort of could have been, I guess. But you've got that like, bit here. He's got Boo in his front of the, obviously, in Washington, D.C. And it's just great. Unus. And you've just got the Juggernaut, of course. You've got some great story. The Banshee. You've obviously got all the the way they just goes through the entire run of all the X Men. It's a real great catch up. If you if you're not familiar with the early X Men, I think this is just a brilliant, complete. I think it's a very easy to read version of the X Men history, and it fleshes it out in lots of ways that perhaps obviously some parts it removes the story. It's not every story. So you've got a comic, say, maybe there might be the, the Sentinels or whatever, or uh, obviously the bit with Polaris. That storyline, you know, is like two pages. Obviously, you cannot have everything that occurred in the original comics, but it, I think it's an absolute brilliant attempt to do that. I, I just love this all the way through. I think this is just an absolute gem, even though you have to get a little bit the art style. The art style is unusual, to say the least. I say lots of the panels, it's not similar to modern style of comics in any form. Well, you've got that, and I love the, uh, it also includes the uh, X-Men first issue. Now, this is weird because the X-Men cover, it's got the cover, doesn't make it look like an old style X-Men cover. But then you've got the next page, it makes it look as if it's an old, you found a copy of the old X-Men and it's battered, it's been been loved and it's it's got a faded, the contrast is quite, but it's, it's not, hasn't been done in the restoration, restored style that you see in like an omnibus edition where you've got the really intense, bright coloured saturations, super quality line work, etc. This is, this is definitely not that. But it's just lovely. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful, 
X-Men issue one was a great one with Magneto. I love that story. So it's nice to see it in style. I mean, in some ways, I wish that Marvel would bring out books with it in the style all along. But some, I mean, I personally, I love the, both the other style as well. I'm not saying I'd buy bikes. <laughs> not that, uh, we, but anyway, it's, I think it's just absolutely brilliant book. I love this. And I love here, he's got a picture of himself. And, I and I, one thing I love in these sort of things is you've always got people who's got their books. And I'm really super nosy. And I'm like, oh, that book he's got there. Oh, he's got those books. He's got lots of these uh, newspaper strip books. I love those ones. Love newspaper strip. And of course, he's got all the box set of the EC ones, which are amazing books. You can get copies of those, definitely, because they're, they're oversized like this and big, obviously, and hardback. And uh, Ross Cochran ones, just excellent. Black and white, but amazing books. And then you've got uh, this weird, very weird section, because one, it doesn't really fit in with the star, because it actually got all the, uh, just got to show you the, there. So you've got the original one that would appear in X-Men issue one, and then it goes all the way through, obviously 30 cents, 60 cents. The frightening thing is, is there's the pricing going up all the way through. You've got 60 cents, 60 cents, 60 cents, 75 cents, 75 cents, one dollar. Obviously it ends at one dollar. But um, of course now it's, I don't know, four dollars. I don't, not so, I, I must admit, when I, I don't normally go and think, oh, that's four dollars. I normally go and buy it in the UK sort of prices, which is normally about three pound 85. So I, I don't know what it is even in dollars. Four ninety nine maybe, something like that. Very expensive anyway. Yeah, this is X Men Grand Design, really brilliant, brilliant book, and I hope that he brings out more. Maybe an Avengers one would be amazing as well. An Avengers Grand Design. I know there's a Fantastic Four one. That's I've got a few issues of that. Don't know if they, I'm not certain if they brought out one of the Fantastic Four in this size. I must go and check. But this is brilliant. 